Right, hello Year 13 Photography. So what happens is uh, this is how we're going to be doing our classrooms um, from now on uh, until we're back at school. Uh, we will be doing uh, videos like this, um, but first, uh, and we also have uh, FaceTime and emails and all that kind of stuff, but I'll, I'll get to that in a moment. First up, uh, hours of when I am working. So from 9.30 a.m. Uh, till 3.30 uh, p.m., I am quite literally in this chair right here. Nice comfy chair, thank goodness, because I'm going to spend so much time on it. And I will be uh, working, making videos like this for you and my other classes, as well as answering all your emails um, and also for you guys to book in Zoom time. So uh, the whole idea is that um, with the emails, just fire off an email whenever you need to, and I will be quite literally in this chair answering them. Um, if you want to uh, do FaceTime, so uh, Zoom is a excellent one where we can talk one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. Um, um, we can talk about your work, explain things, all that kind of stuff. So what you do is you send an email to me, uh, and we book in a time uh, during class time. And class time is your normal Sacred Heart class time on your timetable. So um, a double period or a single period or anything like that, when we normally have photography, that is your time to talk to me because um, other subjects like the science class uh, won't book in that time. Uh, they will book in, in their, your science time. And so that way you won't get clashes. You'll all actually be able to talk to us uh, during your actual normal class time. So that that's... The idea behind that. So um, you look at your normal timetable and that's when we can do Zoom time. But emails anytime you like. Just fire those off and I will reply as fast as I can. Uh, outside of those hours, uh, 9.30 to 3.30, I'm looking after my own family. Uh, but um, in those times I'm working, quite literally working here, and so you guys um, can ask anything you like and get all that sorted. So what we're going to do is I am going to go through some of the resources that we'll be using. This is just an introduction. You will get um, some more of these when you need. What we'll do is we'll go through the resources at the moment. So very first thing is uh, you guys should be used to uh, Edmodo. Uh, so all our resources, as always, are all on Emoto, and so the whole idea is that you guys um, should be logged onto this. If you're not logged onto this, if something happened, uh, then fire me off an email, and I'll be able to give you the link again. And so um, what you can do is you can use all the stuff here as always. So Edmodo, what we're used to and what we'll be mostly used to is um, looking at examples when you're in class and I show you a board, I explain things. Uh, for you, that will be in this one, uh, Year 13 Examples, and it fits into uh, two groups. Uh, we have the school program, it's the buildings, and we have all these other examples here. Um, lots of them um, are on here and um, we can ask me about marks and grades and all those kind of things that's all on here. So if you're doing the buildings, uh, it's uh, lovely and fortunate that um, the NCQA doesn't want us to do um, the uh, school buildings anymore. So you guys have plenty of opportunity to go into town or go around your, um, um, your suburb or whatever, as long as you keep two meters distance from each other, that's great. Take some photos and um, you can use those on the board now. Let's talk about uh, other S, um, uh, things you could use, Pinterest. So you guys um, should all be signed up with Pinterest already, but if you're not, it's uh, Mr. Peterson, and where it goes wrong, it's this um, S-E-N, uh, not O-N, that's where people get wrong, and also I'm not a pin, I'm a people, so click on people and then you'll find me. My logo is uh, Sacred Half Jesus, so you know who I am, and we've got all those um, great assets um, down here that you can click on, um, and if you don't, aren't used to using Pinterest, then you find something you like, you click on it, and then underneath, don't ask me how Pinterest does it, it's magic, it finds the things that are similar, and um, I'm not quite totally sure how a computer sees thing, but it sees stuff. And so it's able to tell um, what things are. So anyway, so that's a, a, a two great things to use. So what we are doing then is if you are able, 
uh, were able to have um, your document, your um, Oh, okay, l l let's start the start. So most of you should have got home an email of how to get Photoshop at home. All right, so you all got the f f um, email about how to get Photoshop at home. Now, if there's a problem with that, you email me um, questions and we'll try to sort those out. Um, one of the things is you may not have a good enough computer to run it. So um, um, you can see if you can got an auntie or a sister or a cousin or somebody rather who go, right, cool, they've got a good, good laptop you can borrow or you can go around to their place and use their laptop. You can download Photoshop onto there and um, do that. So that, that's, that's number one. Hopefully you've got a computer or a laptop that can run it. If you don't, we've got a plan B. So do not worry. Okay. Um, so within that, if you do have Photoshop and it is running, um, then uh, you're going to fall into two camps. Camp number one is guys who were there at the end of last week and they were able to take their um, PDFs, no, PSDs, PSD file, their folio, and they're able to put it on Google Drive. And so then what you can do is you've got Photoshop on your laptop or your home computer and then you can install Photoshop and then you can download it from Google Drive, your folder, your board, your folio, and then open it up in Photoshop and it should all be fine just like you're working at school. There will be another camp of you guys who were not here at the end of last week to be able to do that, so you haven't got your folio board on your um, Google Drive. Now that's fine. If you've got Photoshop, it's still fine because we've got all your work at school. We're not going to be at home for the entire year. And so what's going to happen is you guys can just go, right, cool, I did like three quarters of it, or I'll start in board two or whatever, and you actually just carry on from vaguely where you thought you were. So the whole idea is you don't have to worry about the work that's already on at school. You don't need that work. You just quite literally make sections and you just carry on with what you've got already. And so that's the kind of thing that I'll be getting you guys um, doing is where these sections are the thing that count, all right? And, he, and we can move around these sections all um, year. So if you've got Photoshop, uh, you either carry on with the board or you've got Photoshop and you go, oh, look, I didn't get my board onto Google Drive, then that's no problem at all. You just carry on with making section. Even if it's on board one, you just carry on making other sections. You'd think we did about three quarters and you're doing another section down the bottom. Okay, if you have any questions with that, sizes of boards and all that kind of stuff, I'm quite literally here all day, every day, um, and you just fire off an email to me asking those things and I can answer you straight away. Okay, so uh, those are the first things. Now, plan B, as we talked about. So say you go, oh, I haven't got a computer, I've only got a um, Chromebook, I can't run Photoshop, because I totally understand that Photoshop needs to be quite a big, um, uh, computer needs a big computer to run. We certainly have that at school where, where um, computer, any old computer has a hard time running Photoshop. So then what you're doing, your plan B is you take the raw photos for each section. So you can do that on a phone. If someone, if you're lucky enough to have someone in your family who has a digital camera, that's great. Otherwise your phones are just absolutely fine as long as you're outside um, in, the, in, the, in the sunshine they're going to come out amazing as soon as you're in the dark they're going to come out grainy on your phone but the whole idea is if you're outside they're going to be great so what you do is say an example we're doing these ones up here so you're going to don't go and take the raw photos for these and then a different lot of photos for this and a different lot of photos for this and a different lot of photos for this and you're going to save all those and we're going to do a mock-up i'll post a video of how to do this tomorrow of how to do a mock-up. So you just put on an artist model. This is my artist model. I've got all my raw photos in here. And then when we're back at school, like I said, it's not going to be all year that we're going to be um, uh, working from home. Um, when you're back at school, then we can do all this Photoshop stuff on it. So if you don't have Photoshop, you can still do lots of things. Heck, you could do all three boards with the photos. Take them all, put them on Google Drive, get them all, all, all sussed out, do these mock-up little boards so you have all the plans and you're all ready to go as soon as you get back to school and have Photoshop. So we've got a plan A, just carry on because you're lucky enough to have Photoshop, or a plan B, um, that we can get all the raw photos all ready to go so you guys can do um, your Photoshop stuff when you get back to school. And you could probably do all three boards, get them all run and done. And a mock-up of how to do this because what's going to happen, whether you're doing it on Photoshop 
or whether you're doing a mock-up, uh, you guys will be doing a screenshot of what you're doing and putting that into Google Drive. On Google Drive, I can see all your stuff. I can help you. I can write in little notes and do all that kind of stuff and give you give you pointers of what to do as well as the whole thing is I will need to mark it for your reports because you're still at school and you're still getting marked for your reports. And so um, if you do lots of work, that's great. And if you do nothing, well, that's not great. And so the whole idea is that once per week, you'll be putting a screenshot onto Google Drive of what you've been doing. And so then I'll be able to mark it as well as give you valuable feedback for that. So with the mock-up, uh, it'll be on something just basic like MS Paint on a computer or something really, really just, just mashed in. It's all fine because what happens is the, um, the mock-up is just a plan and all the raw photos that you could take, we're going to put those on Google Drive and get all that sorted. And so you have them in little folders for each section and it's going to be great. And you can still do work and it'd be absolutely safe and fine. So uh, we've talked about uh, Zoom time. I don't... I don't think so. So if <laughs> if I've talked about this already, because I've done this for my different classes, um, 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 just listen to it again, thanks. So what happens is you can email me anytime and also we can do the whole thing of Zoom. So the whole thing of Zoom is that you uh, can book in with me some FaceTime. So uh, some time where you go, um, look, I need to do the whole thing of um, I'm not understanding, I need some help. And so um, during our normal class time, so like a double period, when we have uh, photography, uh, you can go, right, look, um, um, this is my time. I want to do photography in then. And uh, uh, that's when you can book in for Zoom time. The reason we do that is so the science department uh, will respect the fact that it's your photography time and they'll do their Zoom lessons during science time. And so you, there won't be any clashes. So that's the whole idea. So send me an email, say, hey, look, I need to talk to you one-on-one -on -one FaceTime because I'm not understanding and we get that sorted. And you do that during your normal class time on your normal timetable. So hopefully that all makes sense. Uh, you'll get uh, emails from me about this. Um, this is also posted, if I just share this again, uh, this will also get posted onto my um, YouTube channel. So um, this one will get uh, put into your um, Google Drive. And then from now onwards, when I need to post videos like the, uh, the video on uh, the how to do uh, just a mock-up because you haven't got Photoshop, I'll be posting that onto um, uh, my uh YouTube channel and it's the Sacred Heart Art, all is one word. That is uh, the YouTube channel, and they'll be there for you. And I'll send you a link of that anyway, and you can go and have a look and get all the information and watch it again and again uh, as you need. So that should be everything. Uh, I will send you an email. I will post this into your Google Drive, as well as the whole idea of post it online to you. YouTube channel and this is how we'll carry on teaching and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.